I figure it's easier if I do a video and pictures for you. So I took it out of storage. As you can see in the couple of pictures I put up front, it's in covered storage. It's on the north side, so it's never in the sun. And that's one of the reasons I picked that, that spot. way you can see it before all the slides and everything are open on it plenty of storage that is basically where all your wastewater tanks and discharge and all that kind of stuff is all the electrical hookups are here everything else is full basement storage plus on the other side roll out uh, uh, awnings over the windows Generators inside here. Very quiet. Set of dual air horns, big wipers, electric mirrors. The awning is about two years old. I replaced the canvas on the awning two years ago. That is a light and a Bluetooth speaker so you can pipe your music to it. It's just under 40 feet long. It's like 39 and change, you know, by the time you measure the end caps on it. Let me get everything open and walk around it again and then we'll go inside. Okay, all the slides are open. It's actually got two awnings on it. It's got one main awning across the top here, and then it's got a doorway awning. I'll open them up for you in a second, and I'll show you how they work. All full storage underneath. Basement storage, storage to the other side of the water, and waste holding tanks. Battery compartments right in there. They're on pull-out trays. And then that is like, I consider that my, uh, my workshop. I keep my toolbox in there and any spares and stuff like that, maintenance items that you always need to keep on board. That right there is the back of the water heater. It has a gas and electric water heater. Full ladder to get up on the roof, and I have the extension ladder. It's tucked in the basement underneath that clips on so you can walk up. Class 3 receiver hitch. These uh, slide out awnings, they were also replaced about two, three years ago. I did them right before COVID. Then COVID hit and we didn't travel as much right away. And then that summer I was like, you know what? We gotta live. We're not staying, we're not staying in, and I didn't stay in anyway because I got a business to run. So I shut my shop down, packed the family up for the month of July and August, and we hit the road. We did we did probably four or five thousand miles. And we had a great time. Went to Montana, down to Colorado, Four Corners area. It was beautiful. Electric power mirrors, like I said before, do Hadley air horns. More storage on this side. Now this is full basement storage, so if you open this side and open the other side, it goes completely through. This is the waste portion of everything. So you got an extra outdoor shower right there storage tanks dump right there fresh water line it's got in a uh, electric LP valve for gas so you never got to turn anything just flip a switch you can do it from either down here or up in the uh, in the coach as well there's all lighting down here it's not on but there is lighting in all these compartments this side here that's the back of the refrigerator right there so if you ever have to service a refrigerator I open it up now and then just clean the dust and dirt out of it you get from driving. And then this is the um, access to the furnace for the heater. This compartment right here has some small storage in it, but it's got the main fuse panel for everything in the front end of the coach, like for the driving side of it. It's got a 110 gallon fuel tank, 
got one fill on this side and it has one on the other side. Halogen lights, fog lights as well. And then there's the other fill right there. So it doesn't matter what pump you pull into, you can always fill the tank. Let me, uh, let me open the awnings. I'll show that to you. I gotta do it one-handed, bear with me. Sorry about that, I hit the button. I was trying to move the zoom out. I haven't opened this in a while, so it's actually kind of good. I'm gonna leave it open for a couple minutes. So you got that awning right there. And then this is an awning up here. And that is, hold on, I gotta go inside to do that. Here's your control panel for everything. I might as well run you through that as well. Heater, gas and electric. That shows the levels, battery conditions. We hit that button. That turns the water pump on or off. Right now it's on, it's got a little indicator. There's also a switch back by the uh, bathroom sink. That's the LP valve. I can actually turn that off. This compartment in here, there's really not much in here. This is just the controller for the Oasis driver awning, a, a door awning. Let me open that up for you. Obviously, it hasn't been opened in a while. So that's kind of nice. That uh, speaker light, by the way, is not only a speaker, but the bottom, you can, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, it's hard to see. That illuminates with LED, it's a switch inside, and with the app on your phone, you can change the colors on it. It's a great, great RV. We had such a good time with this. It's been about five, six years, I think, we had it. Let's take a walk inside. Full cockpit, full gauges on everything. It's got a backup camera right here. Uh, let's see. This should fire up. Been turning any of this stuff on in a while. I forgot how to use it. Here we go. This is a touch screen with satellite radio, and it works. Dual fans, front air conditioning. Front air conditioning needs a recharge. It's just been sitting around. But I never use it anyway. I always use the main air conditioning. You got two units. There are carrier air fives, which are big. Matter of fact, I can turn it on manually, but actually let me show you the remote. So there's a digital remote for each AC unit. And there's the one for the rear. It's running right now. You can hear it. Here's the bathroom, full walk-in shower store the garbage can and the, uh, the trash can and that's a roll of carpet I put down in the middle of the RV. Right now this just has the runners in it that I keep in the center when the RV's closed so you don't walk on the carpet and get the carpet dirty. I'm really picky about that stuff. My wife thinks I'm a nuts but that's just the way I am. So on the AC like this is already set to cool it's power on so let's start with it powered off and you'll hear it beep and it's all cool. It says the unit is on right there. You can hear it, it is blowing. These couches here both pull out to beds. Those are where my kids used to sleep. Storage down below. This table was designed to drop down. Somebody converted it to permanent. I never needed it to drop down because I always had the master bedroom in the back for me and my wife. And the kids would always sleep up here when we were out on the road. 
LED TV. I just replaced the LED TV. Matter of fact, there's the old one right there I got to get rid of. All ton of storage. All lighting works. I put LEDs in everything. And uh, it just gives it a nice look. So nighttime, it's nice and bright in here if you need the lighting. Here's the control for the antenna. Okay, you can dial in the antenna. TV's wired up uh, with a CD, with a, with a uh, video player. And then I used to run my phone on it through this wire here that I have a couple of these, so I'm going to leave it for the next person. And basically, you plug this wire into your phone. It keeps your phone charged. And, like, if you want to stream whatever, I used to, I used to stream uh, direct TV right from my phone to the TV so I can watch TV all the time. But it does have a satellite dish on the roof. But that satellite dish, about three years ago, doesn't work in the network anymore. So... Quite honestly, in today's day and age, you don't really need anything other than streaming off your phone if you're set up that way. If not, you put a wine guard automatic dish on top of it, take the old one off, it'll all plug in and replace it. They're about $900 to $1,100. I didn't bother doing it because I do everything with my phone. These are full privacy curtains that wrap around. And then the other one goes on this side, completely closes this in. There is a pull-out step that covers this so you don't fall down the hole when you're inside the RV and not going out for a while or driving down the road. We usually close that up when we're on the road so if my wife stands up, she doesn't fall down the hole. She's done it once before, so. Um, again, more storage. The cabinets are completely through. Oh, that's where that is. This is my steamer cover. I'm gonna take this home with me. Leave it there because I'll, I'll remember it. I won't sit on it. And of course, our motorcycle helmets and dirt bike helmets we keep in there. Plenty of storage. All the drawers. Full oven. Three burner range hood. This is the cover for the sink. I got some stuff in there. Our toaster. Gotta have your toaster. That's where that goes. Oh, in here. Although she really just a shitter. But there's your bathroom. I know I showed pictures of the washer and dryer, but here's the washer and dryer combo. I've never used it. It's brand new, and I think whoever owned this before me never used it either. More storage as well. In the floor heating, there's vents everywhere. This thing will cook you out of it. You got hot hot air down there. You got the intake for the air right here for the uh, floor heating. Then there's another one here, and then there's another one. There's another one here, and there's another one underneath that carpet there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Anything else you see or you want to question, just call me. It was easier to do this on a video than it was with a bunch of photographs. You get, a, I think, more of a real feel on it, especially if you can stream it to your television. Oh, the door. There's a screen door and the main door, so the main door can stay open. The screen door you go in and out of. It's obviously got the little uh, slide right here. Control panel down there for all the lights, compartment lights, battery... Uh, management and everything all right there what else did i miss anything air's blowing nice and cool ac's running it's 103 degrees here in phoenix but it feels nice in here right now i've had the air running for about 15 20 minutes do another walk around in the bedroom full wardrobe, uh, wardrobe cabinet Here's the other LED TV. I just replaced that one. All cabinets down here. Here's your power center down here with all fuse panels. A little storage under the sink. Well, I think that's about it. Let's shut this down. I gotta go put uh, go put it back away. Got a bunch of stuff to do today. Any questions, give me a call. It's a great RV. 
it's got oh miles I forgot to tell you it has uh, I think it was 36,000 miles on it and we've enjoyed the heck out of it family we had a great time kids are growing up now I mean my son is 26 my daughter's 20 she's in college they're starting to get their own lives so it was time to move on maybe down the road I'll get another RV for me and the wife who knows but right now rather than let it sit around it's time to uh, move it on more lights and let somebody else enjoy it any questions give me a call 